two balls lifting this morning from Philly Truman, causing perhaps a little uncertainty in the batsman's mind. It was off the pad, I think. Yes, leg by. Truman coming up now to Murray. Oh, he's scared. He's going to be caught by Cadre, and he's caught it. Murray out, caught Cadre. Bell Truman for 20. A valuable innings. There's the seven going in. Uh, Shackleton, 39 shortly. August the 12th, Smithfield. Playing in his fourth test. Seems incredible he hasn't played more. He's never played one here before, anyway. Yes, he must go. And he's at, at last. He's got the wicket. Now it'll be Shackleton to Griffith. Oh, he's caught in. Brilliantly caught by Cadre. Brilliantly caught by Cadre. <laughs> A really glorious tumbling catch to his right. Caught Cadre. Bowl Shackleton for Nault. And uh, certainly deserves that pat on the back. Colin Cardi, that's his second catch of the morning. Now then. The hat trick. Possibility for Shackleton. Shackleton to Gibbs. If he gets it, it's a hat trick. And he doesn't. Parks goes up close to the wicket. <laughs> He's caught him, Stewart. He's out. The innings is over. Well played, Eric Shackleton. Long, hard toil without reward, and now he's mustering a smile. Three wickets in four balls to finish the innings for 301 and leaving Wes Hall with that not out, 25. Mickey Stewart on the left and Edridge nearest to us with the cup. The Surrey opening pair did well at Old Trafford. And a very attacking field as you can see, there's no third man but there is a long leg that's a fairly friendly one to start with well pitched up imagine yourself facing this and that'll be certainly two runs Charlie Griffith running round but McMorris is going to get there first no he isn't Griffith gets there first McMorris coming from Leg slip. So Stewart gets two runs and England two for naught in reply to the West Indies total of 301 all out. Edridge's first ball, end of the innings. And he's caught, yes, he's caught first ball by Murray. Edridge caught Murray, Bowl Griffith for naught, and England are two for one, and look at how the West Indians are rejoicing there. That's another no ball. Dragging on that bowling crease there. Remember, the front foot law does not apply in test cricket. This is all because of his back foot. He's dragging over the bowling crease. Four no balls so far called by Fuller against Griffith. And he's caught, caught by Canai at first slip. And Stewart is out, and England have lost two wickets in this pre-lunch interval. 
Stewart caught Canai, Bill Griffith for two, and England 20 for two in reply to the West Indies, 301. Well, there's no need to say who's on top at the moment. A magnificent shot, four runs. 50 for Dexter. Dexter's 50 in 45 minutes. Dexter really on the rampage. 72 for two. Griffith coming up. Oh, he didn't quite get hold of that. One run down to long day. That's a lovely stroke, and that's going up to the boundary, but just going to be caught by Solomon. And that's the 100. Down to mid on, Wesley Hall, the fieldsman. England now made quite certain the West Indies can't ask them to follow on with a score 102. He's out. Dexter is LBW on 70. LBW Bill Sobers. Well, you can imagine how delighted the West Indians are. 102 for three. 13 rounds later, Cowdery was out to Lance Gibbs. It's now 149 for four, Griffiths bowling to close. It's a nice throw, past the square leg umpire. Solomon chasing it, but Lance Gibbs coming round from long leg. So, close adds two to his score, he's nine now. And that's 150 up at a run a minute, or just a fraction under. He's caught behind the wicket, caught by Murray, closes out. Caught Murray, Bell Griffith for nine, and England now 151 for five. Mm. See, Murray stands back to Worrell, although he's barely above medium pace, really. He wants to make certain of the catches. That's a beautiful shot, but it went before runs. There's Lance Gibbs. And the 200 up. And it's taken 203 minutes. And as you see, 59 overs, that figure down below the wickets there. Nicely tucked away off his body, that, wasn't it? The applause is for the 50 partnership in exactly 50 minutes between Barrington and Parks. Barrington, a fine innings of 80. Park still there. And to come in, Freddie Tippus on his home ground. Freddie Tippus, the Middlesex all-rounder. Tippus and Parks put on 29 for the seventh wicket before Parks was bowled by Worrell for 35. Next man in, Freddie Truman. Well, here we come with what may be the last over. So Mr. Truman, and if it's the last over, he's going to end it with a flourish. It'll be four runs. England are 57 runs behind the West Indian score of 301 and the game is quite delicately poised. Another great day's cricket here with the excitement starting when Shaq